All right, guys, today is an exciting day. It's something I've been thinking about doing for a while and finally I just decided I need to do it. Can't wait any longer. I'm gonna start vlogging. I don't think it's gonna be daily vlogs. I think it'll be more trip by trip and, and whatever comes up. Uh, it's something I've wanted to do for a while, but it's, it's always easy to just be like, oh, I'll start that in a couple months, but I know otherwise I'll keep putting it off. So we're starting. I hope you guys enjoy. I don't know what this is gonna turn into. Um, but I just think it'll be fun to document and if nothing else, it'll be cool for me to watch back in a couple years. So thanks for watching. You ready? <laughs> the cats just lost their minds. Guys, we did it. 100,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough. Uh, we are so blessed. Uh, yeah, I'm living, living my dream. It feels like just last year at this time, we were 50,000. It's been four years now since I started focusing on YouTube and it's been, it's been a wild ride. I need to thank a couple people. First off, gotta thank Aaron Weeb, Mr. Uncut Angling. He mentored me, he promoted me, he helped me out along the way and I'm so grateful for that. Gotta thank Brandon Byler. He's been with me for the past year and he's been editing up a storm and that's one of the reasons that we're able to put out as many videos as we do is because he's behind the scenes working so hard um, as well. Huntfish Manitoba, Icefish Manitoba. They, they were like my first supporter, first real sponsor, and they put faith in me right from the start. So I, I'm so thankful, as well as many other sponsors. I'm gonna link them below. One of the most important is my beautiful wife, Sam. She has ridden the highs and the lows with me. Um, it's not always big fish and butterflies. There are some, some tough times, but Sam uh, keeps me grounded and encourages me through it all. And uh, yeah, we're just so, so thankful. Glory goes to God. And Sam's got one more, one more announcement. <laughs> Sorry, Judy. I'm pregnant. I'm going to be a dad. June? June, June 12th. June 12th. Baby's on the way. Um, yeah, we are so excited. I can't wait. So we are very excited about that. Um, this video is not done. I want to share <laughs> I'm just thinking about the cats tearing away. <laughs> I want to share a video that I made a year ago um, with the Dakota Lithium and it's kind of a glimpse into uh, what being a youtuber is a fishing youtuber. It's kind of a new thing and uh, Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna roll that video right now and uh, I just I can't thank you guys enough. How do you describe to someone what what he does for a living? People give funny looks. When you say, my husband is a photographer, videographer, they're like, oh yeah, okay, awesome. Well, what, is, what, what does he primarily shoot? Uh, mostly just hunting and fishing. And then it's like, oh, okay, well, is there a huge market for that? He makes YouTube videos. That's what he does. <laughs> and then they're like, uh, that's, that's not a real job. So I try to stick with, he's a photographer. I am, so I am a YouTuber, yes. In the simplest form, I'm a YouTuber. I still think of myself as, as more of a producer and videographer, but yes, the term YouTuber gets thrown around. What is a YouTuber? I think the YouTuber term wasn't even a thing a, a few years ago. I've recently heard a statistic that there's more kids that want to be YouTubers than want to be astronauts. Because I knew when I grew up, everyone wanted to be an astronaut. And now it's a YouTuber, which is like just something that's hard to process. And I think that's just a sign of how things are changing. And now being a YouTuber, I think a lot of people in my demographic and younger, they watch more YouTube than they watch TV. So. Yeah, being a YouTuber is making YouTube videos for a living. Exactly that. My buddy Aaron Weeb showed me a pilot episode for, for a fishing show and he said, Hey Jay, I wanna go I wanna go all in with this. I wanna pursue a fishing show. He said, Do you do you want to film this with me? And I didn't have any video experience at all, I had a bit of photo experience, but I knew that this was my dream to to pursue 
something in the fishing related world, whether it be video or photo, but like I'd always dreamed of being part of a fishing show when I was a kid. I remember our first road trip and it was just such an interesting time because YouTube fishing was still, was still a new thing. In the past, you needed a $50,000 camera and a big editing suite and you needed all these different pieces to make a fishing show and that's why there was only a couple people doing it. But the age that Aaron and I grew up in, instantly you could buy a DSLR camera, you could buy a Canon Rebel and you get yourself an iMac and you can be editing high quality video. So I remember we shot that first video and Aaron edited it in the hotel room and we uploaded it to our channel, which is called Uncut Angling. We had, we had no expectations. And I remember in the, first, in the first day we got 500 views. I remember Aaron and I being like, how is this going on? How is there 500 people watching our video? And if I would have known what that was the start of, I, I don't know if I would have believed it, but that first video uh, opened, opened so many doors. All over that log that's angled towards us. And there's the first fish. Perfect. Feels big. Feels big. Oh yeah. Nice crappie. Not bad for uh, first drop there. The reason I started making YouTube videos for myself was just, I wanted to relive those moments. Sam can tell you, I have the memory of a goldfish. So be able to watch back these videos and to just relive these trips, that, that's why I started and that's what I love so much about YouTube. There's so many moving pieces to it. Like there's the shooting, all the gear involved, which you don't have to use as much gear as I use. You could just make a video with your, with your cell phone, but really the editing and all the time spent in the office, it's so much work you put into that video, but when you click upload uh, and, and share it with the world, it's, it's such a cool moment and you never know if people are gonna like it, if people are gonna relate. Yeah. 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 Keep your head down, keep the head down. Yeah! 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 Sam, what just happened? I just caught him on scary. Yeah, right there. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna take a quick picture and we'll put it back, okay? Come on. These head shakes are so big. Oh! Come on, please. Oh, it's huge. It's a giant. It's a giant. Oh my goodness. Come on. Look at this hog! <laughs> oh! Oh! Look at that fish! That is what we came for right there! I think the way that YouTube has affected Jay or just us in general, that the highs are high and the lows are low. Jay's creativity flies high and he loves doing those things and he loves fishing and he loves sh sharing that with other people and he loves educating people. And then sometimes whether a video does bad or there are troubles with editing, anything like that, the lows can just shoot straight down to the floor and Jay's a little bit uh, dramatic shall we say here we go here we go here we go here we go big mark big mark oh geez oh geez oh geez yeah on on come on oh it's big oh it's big I think it's a brown Oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh! Oh! It was right in the hole! Oh! 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 That was the one. That was the one. Oh, Marcel, hold me. Oh my goodness. Oh, guys. What does a good day look like? As Sam can probably tell you that I'm a bit of an emotional roller coaster. That's that's the sign that she makes to me sometimes when 
I know I'm being up and down, but it's, I would compare making YouTube videos to fishing tournaments. Um, the highs are high and the lows are low because the thing about fishing and hunting videography compared to something else, if I was doing a baking show, you would, you would bake your cookies and you would get a video and that would be done. But if you're making a fishing show, you need to catch that fish. People don't want to watch a fishing show without fish, right? So it's this added pressure because it's like, am I going to catch that fish? Am I going to land that fish? Is it going to be big, right? So it's, it's such an added variable that you can never account for. So there is, you know, obviously a bit of a luck factor. You can prepare as much as you can, but the feeling of catching a big fish on film is 10 times what I have felt just, you know, catching a big fish in general. When the camera's rolling and you've got, you know, maybe a drone in the sky or the slow-mo rolling and you pull this big fish out, that gives me the best feeling. And I, I love the challenge of it. And I think that's why I'm addicted to making YouTube videos because I love that extra challenge. It's not just catching the fish, it's making sure the camera's rolling, your audio is good, everything's framed, your exposure is right. And when it all comes together, that's, that's what I live for. Tomorrow is gonna be one of our last days on the ice this season. It's melting outside, the grass is showing, and I'm taking my wife Samantha out for late season pike. We're gonna go tip up fishing. We're gonna try to film a YouTube video. Beyond that, I mean, just trying to get Sam her biggest pike ever through the ice. So I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. The weather looks amazing. This is the best time of year for it. And I just hope the fish want to bite. Welcome back. We got your girl, Sam. What are we doing today? We're tip up fishing. For pike. We're pike fishing today. It is the end of the season. By the time you watch this, it's probably the start of the season. Sam's gonna be doing some running around if, if all goes as planned. So enough talk. There's no better situation for getting underwater strikes than tip up fishing for shallow water pike. You're in three, four feet of water. The water's typically pretty clear. There's good light penetration. So we're gonna pop one more hole, drop our first bait down, drop our camera down, just so we got that running and then start setting the rest. Oh, he ate it. Look at him. He's on the camera. Yes, Sam is hooked up. Look at that big gator. Nice. Look at that one. Isn't that cool? Did you see him eat? No. Just all of a sudden the flag was up right in front of you. Well, that was quick. Good job. Well, I don't know if my goals with YouTube have changed too much. At the start, it was always, I just wanted to document my, my trips, my experiences, um, and, and never with the expectation that people were gonna wanna watch. So, you know, being able to look back on these memories and my proposal and, and just any trip with, with Sam or Big Fish or just, just anything along the way, being able to relive those memories is amazing. And I wanna continue that. But now that there's more people watching, I, if I can inspire someone, because I remember I was that kid watching shows and going to, going to talk to these fishing personalities and asking them questions and just like, how could I, how could I do the same thing? So if I can inspire someone else that same way or just someone to get into fishing that has never fished before, those are the things that I want to strive to do. And uh, yeah, I think every video is just another chance to maybe do that. Flick, flick. Flick, flick, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know, Sam. He's cutting in some weeds there. What do we got? Ooh, this is a better one. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, no. This is a big one. This is the fish, Sam. Oh, that's big. Oh, that's big. Yeah, let's just guide him back. His jaw is caught because he's so big. Please stay on. Look at this. You can just see his jaw at the bottom. A little bit of slack? Yeah. Oh, look how big his head is. <gasps> okay, just hold the tot. Hold the tot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Sam. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at that pike. Oh, my goodness, Sam. <laughs> that is so big. What a day. What a day. Unreal. 
<laughs> you did so good. That was insane. Oh, yeah, this has been a good day. This has been a very good day.